super cool things. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I got some very exciting, cool stuff for my friends to show you guys today. So definitely go check all these things out. Get them so you can style out and have super cool things and check out all this cool groovy stuff from all my amazing friends. Thank you so much, you mean not. All right, so we're starting it out with my buddy Chris from TCG Metals. If you guys haven't heard of TCG Metals, you should totally check them out. There's a link in the description below. Go over there, get yourself some sweet metal leaders. He's got metal leaders for all card games. He's doing them on a UV printer. They look super sweet. He told me he was doing some one piece leaders. So he sent some one piece leaders over to me and I wanted to share them here with you guys. So I'm just gonna, whoa, yo, this is sick. This back looks so cool. Look at that compass. You can see like the metal silver coming through. That's super sick. That's extremely, extremely clean. Nice work, man. And what's this one? Oh, Do Flamingo. Wow, yo, check that out. That is fire. This is sick. This is all raised like texture on this metal card. Very, very cool. Yeah, you can only do this with a UV printer. So these are definitely UV printed and you can see kind of, it's almost like a reverse hologram with the darker colors blocking out some of the silver, but using these lighter colors to highlight that shininess looks very, very cool. I think this is commissioned work also. So these are like, you know, original works on these cards. So there's Doflamingo and Kaido. Yo, this is sick. This is the multicolor Kaido. This is fire. What? Look at that blast breath blasting out of the card, just blasting out of the wall. These are gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Holy hexagon. Super clean with the, with the text and the borders and everything and how that's raised. That looks really, really nice. These are amazing. Sweet. Thanks, Chris. And there's more to come. Let's check these out. Who else we got here? Is it all the leaders? Feels pretty thick in this pack. Okay. This looks like Luffy. Let's save him for last. This is blue. Maybe this is Crocodile. Crocodile. Whoa. Yo, this is sick too. Dang. Look at that hook. Doshta Croco Boy. So we think very very cool yo this is absolute fire amazing work chris really really nice make sure to go over to tcg metals and check this out i think this is going to be kido ustaskido wow yo this is really really sick as well it's got like this gold line work there that looks sick that looks very very cool and all the metal that's be like moving around they look like it looks like holograms floating on the card. This is insanely cool. Wow, what an insanely sick art. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely commissioned because I've been looking for a lot of kid art and I have not seen haven't seen this, so that's that. I'm gonna guess this is Luffy. Zoro! Roro no Zoro. That's uh that's an example of me being not right. Wow, this looks great. Very cool. Look at that line work, it looks so clean and sharp and like the hockey around his sword and blasting up off the corner of the card. These are amazing, man. Excellent, excellent work. Yeah, all right, we got one more here. TCG Metals, check them out. Is this, this is blue. Blue, who's blue? Is it King? Have we not seen King yet? Oh no, Kaido, this is purple. I can't see the difference between blue and purple, sorry. This is sick also, what the heck? Yo, this is so dang fire. These cards are amazing. Yeah, this Kaido is really good. Kaido's a scary, scary leader to play with. So it's good to have a scary, scary leader sitting in the middle of your uh, play mat when you're swinging at people with this nice metal piece of metal. Feels good. Feels really good. Very sick. Yeah, so go check out TCG Metals. Chris is making those over there. They are really, 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 really fun. Next up, I got deck tech these are my boys actually over here they're in the area and they're making these deck boxes that are perfect for these games with leaders because what they do is they make the deck with a spot for your leader card so you can put your leader card right there in the front you just slip it in and out of the of the leader thing of the front like that and there you have um the the thing so if you have a 50 card deck like you do in uh in uh, one piece, you can get one of these, fit your cards in there, it slides in there perfectly, nice hard shell. 
And I'm pretty sure you can UV print on these also. I'm gonna try and mess around with some UV printing on these, but it's awesome how the leader fits right in there. You can go get your TCG Metals leader and drop it right in the front of your deck tech deck box. Perfect, look at that. Let's check this out. How does that fit? Oh yeah, right in there, like swimwear. That's amazing. And if you have these jewel gem cases on them, they fit these like perfectly also. So really, really awesome deck boxes. I'm a big fan of these. I have had a lot of fun using this one. And then if you have a bigger deck like in Dragon Ball, you can put uh, you know more cards in this one. I think that you can get your side deck in here also. When you first start using these, you gotta kind of move them around a couple times. But this one has its separate section for your side deck. So it's really sick. You can actually separate your deck and your side deck and then you know easily side and flip things around between your main deck and side deck oh what's this that's a cool card didn't know that was there um yeah so definitely check out deck tech their deck boxes are awesome they're really cool and they have all these different colors they have all these super cool colors i mean look at this this cool yellow that was the one that was i i think that's orange actually but yeah there's some look at this silk gold that looks awesome they got silver and this silk red i gotta get me some silk in my life this is nice silks get me out on the silks boys because these are looking fire yeah glass blue i mean glass blue and and glass yellow that's that's where i like to live in between those two colors but these all look so awesome so definitely um why don't we just go through the colors so if you want to do something you can see what they are we got yellow we got orange glass orange big fan of that uh, marble silk silver silk gold silk red that's nice silk purple seems expensive light green looks pretty good there's dark green here it's actually green I can't even looks like purple to me almost I must be going crazy that's white we got red here and pink nice pink and light blue Egyptian blue that's a nice looking blue and we're back to the glass blue and the black and glass yellow looking awesome yellow orange glass orange I think this is where we started yeah because we got silk silver really cool so go check out deck tech get yourself a custom deck box printed perfectly for your one piece or dragon ball decks and to finish it off i got a very exciting package here from the man the myth the legend the man the creator of demon rush i don't know if you guys have heard of demon rush but i found out about it recently and i'm super super psyched about it it seems like a really really cool ip this dude is making his own story and it looks awesome i mean we're talking about anime or manga quality that's like on the level of one punch man the the mangas look so so clean i actually bought one on Amazon, I went and bought the book. It's downstairs, I forgot to bring it up. But let's slice in this package. I don't really know what's in here, but we were talking. He wants me to do some prizing for his game um, since I've been printing some cards too, which I'll show you guys a couple of those when we're done here. But um, he, uh, yeah, he asked if I would uh, if I would do some, some prizing or something. So we're talking about that. And he sent me this package so I could kind of see some of the stuff. And I just wanted to get a first look at it here with you guys so we could all take a look and see what it's about demon rush let's check it out trip them i'm shripping demon rush apparently the first set is all sold out yo this is cool that's cool structures demon rush this is sick all right what's inside here we got oh nice these this must be the starters very cool holy starter deck soren 41 cards very cool oh there's two of these starters i think sweet this one's already open. I'm, I kind of want to keep that one sealed, I think. All right, let's take a look at this and see what's in here. These are the cards. Looking nice. Very cool. Law of Forbearance. Negate all opponent attacks this turn. That's pretty cool. Wow, these cards feel pretty nice, too. Pretty nice. This art is really sick, also. Very, very cool. You know, I, I do tend more towards the anime style, but I think like in card games, this seems like it has a lot of reference to magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think this will be very accessible to a wide array of people. So really cool. It looks like this is energy cost and maybe that's like it's power or health or something like that. I don't know all the mechanics of the game, but these cards are sick and they feel really nice. They feel like smooth. 
They slide nicely. I'm sure they'll go into sleeves nicely as well. This is sick. Helmeth is sucky, but I'm a fan. Big fan. Once per turn, during your turn, you can discard one card and sacrifice one soldier to take control of an enemy soldier until the end of the next turn cannot be used on greater beings. That's cool. That's cool. Power, but not too powerful. Seems like a strong card. I would like to play Helmeth. Heinous Wolf. Orgith, the Forge Master. Sick. Dragothen, the Ancient One. Forgotten Coin. These look really cool. Very rad. Yeah, so this is Demon Rush. You can see the back of the cards here. They they look really cool. So I may be doing some prizing for this game. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the manga. It's free to read on Webtoons. You can just go check it out. I'll link it in the description below. But definitely check out the manga. It's very, very cool. We got one star deck. There's another starter deck here. This one's sealed, but I gotta strip them so we can see these cards. This is the Legion of Darkness. Very, very cool. Alpha decks. Sweet. How do I get this strip them? I think there's gotta be some strip them nub somewhere. This looks like a strip them nub to me. You know what? I'm just gonna slice them. Sometimes it just be like that, you know? Sumimasen. Sumimamasen. Sumimasamen. Slice them. There we go. Slice that off. Alright. Thank you. Asakusa Tetsu. And let us shrip them this thing here. Are these sleeves? Oh, yeah. Just clear sleeves. Cool. Very cool. And let's open this and see what these cards look like. Because these look pretty sweet. So, yeah, we're going to be talking and doing some. Uh, Doing some collabs, working on some designs, and hopefully making some really, really cool stuff. Very, very sick. Oh yeah, I love to strip them. This is great. Cool, we got the deck shrink wrapped inside here. Very protected, so you know, if you're keeping these sealed, they'll stay in really good condition. I'll keep that one sore and starter deck sealed, and I'll strip them this one. So we can see some more of these Pardos, because the art is pretty sick on here. I would say I dig it. Yeah, like I said, not totally my style, but I can really appreciate how cool these are. Whoa, Zog Thorn the Fiendish. Look at this tough boy coming in here, ready to slash. Waitstone. This guy looks like, uh, what's that guy's name? That looks like, people say he looks like me. He's got tattoos on his face. Post Malone. This is my Post Malone. Waitstone, Post Malone. Warhorse, Skeleton Warrior, Seven Trumpets. Sick, these cards are sick. Ring of Atonement, that's some cool art. Man, I couldn't even imagine what it must take to get all the art done for all these cards. It must be exhausting to create something like this massive. Helleneth is in this one also. Sweet, so I can play either of these decks. Very cool. Dragorenth. Yeah, I'm gonna try and play this with my brother, hopefully, you know. I'll have some fun with it. Amulet of the Forsaken. Adam the Gazer. Very cool. Whoa, this is sick. Hellfire. Seven cost. I think, I'm guessing that's cost. I don't know. I haven't actually played the game yet, but it looks really cool. This is sick. Chains of Destruction. Very, very cool art for sure. Oh, is this foil? Oh, is this foil? Mmm, Nefarious Rock. When this card destroys an enemy soldier by combat, rally it to your side of the field that soldier kind of attacked the turn it was rallied whoa sick so you like kill something and steal it it's pretty sick move arcog the shield demon very rad gorgon bringer of death yo whoa what is this rush rank one sweet is this like a leader or something maybe cool well, we could definitely do some stuff with this man this is very exciting i definitely want to you know level up and make some cool stuff with this and he sent me this play mat also so let's take a look at this play mat because this looks really cool as well i'm just gonna make this bigger so we can see this whole thing this is really cool the art on here is really cool it's got a nice weight too this is a nice gaming pad and it's got all the areas so i guess your champion goes in the middle and 
you have all these different areas to put stuff and there's a counter down there of some sort so nice nice usually really helpful to learn games when you have a reference like this so really cool i hope you guys enjoyed checking out all these things oh yeah i'll show you some of my things you know i've been making some of these cards also i've been really excited about this this is probably one of my favorite ones here so i've been you know doing this little pirate project where i'm going and printing some some cards myself as well um but you know just kind of to explore creativity i got access to this printer and have been having fun like printing some cool stuff variety of different designs and some of them could be coming out all right some of them are coming out not all right but that's how you learn you know you just gotta go go mess a bunch of stuff up and that's kind of what i've been doing but some of them are pretty cool i like uh this one's pretty funny uh, and uh, this one's cool. I like this a lot. Actually, this one, this was weird. This this got like struck by the print head, but it actually looks like kind of sick. It looks like Luffy's like messed up. This is what it's actually supposed to look like here. And they're all glow in the dark uh, holographic too, which is kind of cool. I've been having fun with that. I tested this one just printing on the metal just to see what the metal would look like coming through here. But this is one of the designs I've been working on a lot. I uh, commissioned my friend Danny to draw this. It's a really, really cool one. And this Marco. I'm a, big fan of the Marco. Marco's really, really cool. And this was like one of the prototypes, one of the first ones. Oh, this one's cool. I like this. I tried this different technique where I tried to like hide this picture in the picture. So you can kind of see it here. There's like a Luffy manga panel hidden in the wave, but you can only see it when you hold it certain angles of the light. It's kind of fun. I want to explore with that more. Anyway, that's been all this cool stuff. Thank you to my friends for sending me all this awesome stuff. You guys should definitely go check it out. I'm going to leave links in the description so you guys can find all of these things. Go scoop them up and make your life a little bit flyer and a little bit more fun. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip will be tell one of your friends to make sure they're taking care of your teeth. It's good to take care of your own teeth, but just like my friends are checking up on me and making sure I have a bunch of cool stuff, it's good to check on your friends and make sure they have cool stuff. Say, hey, I check out this YouTuber and he gives all these dental tooth tips. So you should definitely have a power brush and a flosser and be using those things so you can take care of your teeth. So you want to take care of your friends so you have more fun in life. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.